school romance stories are appealing because of their relatable nature. They usually have a great mix of heart-wrenching, hilarious and cute moments. Welcome to Vinitube and today we're going through 10 of the best school romance anime that you need to watch. Keep in mind the anime that were in the top 10 anime that will make you cry have been excluded from this list as that video was made recently. If you haven't seen that video, do make sure you check it out though. At number 10, we have Kimi ni Todoke. This is the story of Sawako, an unassuming, honest high school girl in search of friendship, but her resemblance to the horror film character Sadako makes this difficult. Being an outcast from a young age has made her socially awkward and stigmatized. When her idol, the popular boy Kazehaya, begins talking to her, everything changes. She finds herself in a new world, making new friends and talking to different people. Now being able to express her feelings to her friends, Samako realizes she has special feelings for Kazehaya. A sweet love blossoms between the two as they overcome circumstances and obstacles that stand in their way. It's a really great feel-good anime that will never fail to tug at your heartstrings. Moving on to number 9, it's Suki Gakirei. This romantic journey introduces us to Akane Mizuno and Kotaro Azumi, two third year middle school students who become classmates for the first time. Akane is a member of the school track team, and Kotaro is the literary club president who loves books and wants to become a writer. The two are put in charge of the equipment for the sports festival and slowly grow closer over time. As much as the two seem an unlikely romantic pair, their experiences in school, along with the other students, makes them mature and aware of personal changes. The series delivers an exciting, heartwarming story that connects with reality. This might be a slow burner for some folks, but it's definitely one of the most relatable and realistic romance anime you'll ever watch. On to number 8, it's the pet girl of Sakura So. The main protagonist of this series is Kanda Sorata, a student of Sakura Dormitory. After getting kicked out of the main dorms for bringing in a stray cat, Sorata is forced to live in the small Sakura halls where problem students are sent. Although he doesn't mind his roommates, Sorata can't wait to move out, but when Shina Mashiro moves into the dorm, everything changes. As time goes by, we see Sorata develop emotional feelings towards Mashiro. The story is about their daily lives as well as mental and emotional growth. It has a really good mixture of funny, sad and heartwarming moments. Uh, uh. <laughs> Next on the list at number 7, it's Dora Dora. This series centers on busybody high school student Ryuji, who people avoid because he's inherited the evil looking eyes and facial structure of his Yakuza father. He meets his self-centered and tiny neighbor, or should I say a loli sondre, Taiga Aisaka. And over the course of the anime, Ryuji and Taiga set up romantic situations to help each other get to know their friends, but many of them backfire. The series follows the lives of these friends and how love blossoms among them. I could see people putting this series higher in their list, but personally I found Taiga annoying a lot of the times, even though Ryuji is a likable character. At <laughs> number 6, it's the Anthem of the Heart. This story revolves around Junna Rusei, a young girl known for being such a chatterbox that she inadvertently caused her parents' divorce. As a child, a fairy egg cursed her so that she would never hurt anyone else. The story then skips forward a few years where she meets poor high school student Takumi Sakagami. As the two spend time together preparing for the musical, Jun starts to develop feelings for Takumi. The film beautifully conveys its themes with good music and voice acting performances along with great animation from A1 Pictures. Overall, this romantic musical is brilliantly written and delivers on all fronts. That day, 
ここから始まったんだ僕たちの物語は。Moving on to number five, we have a series which aired recently. It's Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. High school student Sakuta's life takes a twist when he sees a bunny girl known as Mai Sakurajima appear before him. She's Sakuta's upperclassman and a famous actress on hiatus from the entertainment industry. Mai's intrigued that Sakuta's the only one who can see her. The rumor about the mysterious phenomenon called puberty syndrome has him puzzled, so Sakuta unfolds the meaning behind his bizarre encounters on women with this syndrome. What makes this anime so good is the interaction and the chemistry between the two main characters. This was definitely one of the best non sequel anime of 2018. <laughs> Next on the list at number four, we have Kids on the Slope. This anime series centers on male protagonist Kaoru Nishimi, who's a first year high school student. Due to his father's work, he moves out to Sasebo, Nagasaki Prefecture, Japan, to live with relatives. Until then, Kaoru was an honor roll student who kept to himself, but meeting the notorious bad boy Sentaro changed him. Through his devil may care classmate, Kaoru learns how much fun it is to play jazz and finds the first person he can call a real friend. He also meets the beautiful Ritsuko, who he ends up falling in love with. The series is directed by Shinichiro Watanabe, known for Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo. With a smooth blend of music and drama, this anime series proves to be an entertaining romantic roller coaster. At number three, it's my teen romantic comedy Snafu. This anime is about an antisocial and cynical high school student named Hachiman who has a distorted view on life. His life changes when he's forced to enter the volunteer service club by his teacher, and this is where he meets an equally problematic student, Yukino. They provide help for any troubled schoolmate who requests it. Soon they meet the cheerful Yui, and together they form a trio in this romantic comedy. What makes this anime stand out is the amazing MC in his quotes about society. It has some great dialogue that blends in with wit and sarcasm. It largely depicts various social situations faced by teens in a high school setting and the psychology driving their interactions. At number two, we have Re Life. The story revolves around 27 year old Arata Kazaki. He's been unemployed for years after quitting a job just after three months, claiming that it didn't fulfill his highest potential. As a result, he finds it difficult to gain a job at another company. Now, his life changes when he meets a man who offers him a drug that can change his appearance to that of a 17 year old. After taking the drug, he becomes the subject in a year long experiment in which he begins his life as a high school student again. There he meets Chizuru Hishiro. Smart but socially awkward, Hishiro is ignorant to any non school matters, particularly social and emotional ones. Through connecting with her friends and other classmates, Arata must find what she lacks to live a happy life in the real world within a one year time limit. The romance is cute, but nothing extraordinary. What makes this series interesting is the plot and Arata's struggle to adjust to his new lifestyle and avoid repeating his past mistakes. And finally, at number one, we have I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. I got dozens of comments on my top 10 anime that will make you cry video asking why I didn't include this. Now, that's because I hadn't seen it. For some reason, this anime has been under the radar, but after watching it, I definitely say it's one of the best anime movies I've seen in recent times. Definitely. It should be on everyone's watch list. Now, despite its creepy name, I can assure you there's no cannibalism involved in this anime. I Want to Eat Your Pancreas is a sad story between two high school students. The male Lead finds a book titled Living with Dying, which belongs to Sakura. Now, Sakura is diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and doesn't have much time left to live. 
After that meeting, the pair begin to spend the girls' remaining time together. The protagonist of this series is antisocial and doesn't have any friends, which is the opposite of Sakura, who's popular and cheerful. We see the protagonist's growth and how Sakura helps him become a better person throughout the story. This is more of a drama than a romance like a silent voice, but it's definitely an anime everyone should check out because of its beautiful portrayal of a unique and special relationship between two people. So what do you think of this list and what's your favourite school romance anime? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You won't regret it. I'll see you next time on Vinny. Did you think you could be the song? Should I get to be us now?